the 10th k subscriber merch is finally out guys make sure you guys do get this because this will go off sale at around 15 or 20,000 subscribers now this does look good in strongman simulator now for those who didn't know strongman simulator stretches out the clothing in the game and it makes all the merch and shirts look very weird but I've actually conquered this problem and now the merch looks very clean in the game so make sure you guys do cop this merch to show that you're an OG to the channel and bigger but uh, yeah let's get into the video everyone, Try and Ban here. Welcome back to a new video on the channel. Today we're in Strawman Simulator for a tips and tricks video on the channel, guys. Now I know it's been a while since we've done one of these, so I wanted to get like sort of an updated guide on the tips and tricks, and I think you guys will really enjoy it, so let's get into it. Okay, now starting off here, there is a- so I'm in a public lobby, right? And I just joined this, and there is like a Strawman Simulator block of- cheese or something i don't know what this is but this is in my game and like i i'm so confused i said what's happening because i don't understand what's happening here like this shouldn't be a thing how is this a thing i'm still sort of lost for words because i have no idea what this is and i've never seen it but it's in my game apparently so we're just gonna have to deal with it also they changed the rebirth text here it's sort of like more highlighted now which is kind of strange so starting off with the first tip guys, this is going to be around um, pets and how to get the best pets in the game as fast as possible. So if we actually teleport to the retro area, the best area in the game currently, you will see that we have the pets right here. Now there is a common cube, common wired cube, and a common pyramid, and then you have the rare versions of all those three. Now the fastest way to get the best pets in the game is not just by clicking like this. Because you don't want to click and then have to like constantly go as slow as possible. What you want to do is you want to spam E on your keyboard and it will automatically um, open the eggs for you. If you're on mobile you can do this as well just by clicking on the um, roll pet thing super fast. That will also do it automatically but I believe it is like slightly faster if you just press E on your keyboard. Now just from that we already have enough for a rare wire cube and we also have a ton of pets already so it's definitely useful and i highly recommend doing that if you haven't already because i know some people have literally been clicking e and then they've been clicking off and then like e it, it, it just been painfully slow the next tip guys is to not be in public servers like i am right now if you didn't know public servers are very um laggy sometimes in strawman simulator and this is because there's so many people carrying so many different things and it lags the server sometimes when this happens so if you want to stay in public servers then you can but just make sure that you turn down your graphics quality to the very um, lowest settings so that way you can avoid this from happening but overall i always recommend going in a private server just because it's sort of easier and there's like no lag in these servers now you can still invite your friends to it i think i have this one open to my friends maybe Okay, I don't. So, I can open this to my friends, and now my friends can join the server, and I also have a private server link. Now, content has been a bit dry on Strawman Simulator as of recently, and I guess they're sort of in this period where they're just getting the new updates ready to be released. The updates usually take, like, I'd say, like, two weeks per update, to be honest with you. Sometimes it is consistent, but most times it's like two times a week, so it's not that consistent. Anyways, guys, I'm sure some of you may be aware of this. I know that most aren't, but there is actually a strength cap in the game. Now, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, I'll show you in a second, but let's say we go to the dino area, and let's say we pick up the King Rex, like this. Notice how yeah, I'm like struggling to lift this King Rex. It's taking a very long time and I should be able to lift it like pretty easily. But there is a strength cap in the game. So even if I lift this tiny T-Rex here guys, see it still takes just as long as it does for the King Rex. Now, why is there a strength cap? I'm not entirely sure, but there is and it's really affecting my gameplay. Also, it's just not fair to have a strength cap. Even if I lift this whale, see it's taking just as long and I don't know why this is a thing. I really hope that they could remove this from the game because it's really annoying. Even if I had 10 million strength guys, I would be lifting this King Rex as slow as I am right now and I don't know why. <laughs> 
So devs, if you're watching this, please fix the string cap thing. I'm not really sure if I'm getting all of this right, but hopefully I am, and hopefully you guys can make a fix to it. Now for this next tip, this is going to be how I farm in Strongman Simulator when I'm AFK, like when I'm at school and stuff like that. So let's get right into that. Now most of you guys know what a macro recorder is. Now if you don't know what it is, it is basically a program that can pretty much do any task that you want when you're AFK. Now I personally use macro recorder 2.0.69f. Now, I use this macro recorder for Strongman Simulator, like just when I'm AFK and stuff like that. Now, this isn't the code that I use for Strongman Simulator. I have a different file saved for that. But basically, all you would need to do is set up a macro that could automatically do functions in the game for you. Now, this is allowed on Roblox. You can check the TOS and it, it's allowed so you are able to do it without getting banned but you know it's just one of those things that makes from and similar a lot easier to play and just a lot easier to progress in the game also make sure that you have joined my discord server i will leave this link in the description below i'm trying to get to a thousand members so hopefully you guys can join and you know just join the community also guys i highly recommend you watch my previous tips and tricks videos if you haven't already because I am leaving some stuff out because I don't want to like repeat the same tips and tricks all over again. So make sure you guys do watch my previous tips and tricks videos to get all the information that you need. Now in terms of macros guys, um, macros can take a very long time to set up in Strongman Simulator. It took me around 3-4 to four hours to get mine perfect and even still, I, I mean I shouldn't say perfect because it still does mess up quite a bit. But for the most part it works like decently well i should say it's not perfect it does mess up sometimes which is why i always prefer grinding in person and not just afk grinding but you can do this and it just takes a while to set up but the sooner you do it the sooner you can afk farm now afk farming is very helpful like when you're sleeping and stuff because you can still play the game even when you're sleeping and stuff like that however in person it is just always better and it's always a lot more consistent anyways i think that might wrap up the video here guys um i will be doing a noob to pro series soon so make sure you guys stay tuned for that but um yeah thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye